People across eastern North Carolina are getting a chance to see a D.C. monument without leaving their hometown. This week, a traveling replica of the Vietnam Veterans Memorial arrived in Tarboro. It's called the Wall That Heals. Our Madison Forsey is live in Tarboro. And Madison, you've been talking to visitors today. What are they saying about the experience? Yeah, I have. The opening ceremonies for the wall that heals are just now finishing up, and visitors are definitely excited about having this traveling memorial here in Tarboro. And while they're excited, they are also taking time to look at the thousands of names written on this wall and think about those that lost their lives in the Vietnam War. A small pack of fruit snacks left here at the wall that heals by this man, Jim Marsh. Couldn't leave my beer or a whiskey bottle. The snack was left for two people close to Marsh that lost their lives in Vietnam. It just um, sort of makes your heart feel better. The people here scratched the names of friends and loved ones they knew well onto pieces of paper, or maybe those they didn't ever get the chance to meet. It kind of give you, give me a connection with someone that I did as a child I didn't know. But I know one of my family members served over there, so it kind of connects me back to that. And then it's something that I can give to, I can show my kids. People here are taking their time today to look through over 58,000 names who never made it home. Too many names. Too many names. I know they're all young men. Veterans and educators here are hoping to remind folks of their stories. Well, they're sort of forgotten, these guys. Didn't have a good time coming home and remind future generations of how many men and women made the ultimate sacrifice. They should know one thing, they're living in the greatest country in the world. And these names right here were people that felt that way about it and was willing to give up a lot for it. And uh, we owe these people here a whole lot. I talked to a couple of veterans who didn't want to speak on camera that said when they first walked up and saw the wall, it made them pretty emotional. But it was even more meaningful to see this memorial here in Tarboro when so many aren't able to make the trip to Washington, D.C. For now, in Tarboro, Madison Forsey, 9 on your side.